Many elements converge towards the idea that Islamization is having an increasing influence on the Egyptian society. A majority of women now wear the hijab, the Islamic veil. Fundamentalist websites and bookstores are blooming. For Nabil Abdel Fattah, head of the Cairo Strategic Study Center, the Islamization trend is not something spontaneous. What's been going on in Egypt for the past years, for the past decade, is an organized Islamization. The Islamic veil has become a political symbol. It's aimed at tricking women into bringing Islam into their private lives. On this TV channel, Muslim preachers exhort women to wear the izda, a long scarf that covers both head and body, a first step towards veils that ultimately cover the entire face. Not much of a problem for this young lady. Today I'm 28 years old. I started wearing the veil when I was 14, so I've been wearing it half my life. Since I've been wearing the veil, there have been some restrictions. For instance, I can't wear a swimsuit when I go to the sea. For fashion designer Dina Shukri, Islamization is a trend, a trend that can comply with elegance. Since wearing the veil, I've understood my goal. And I've spent all of my time focusing on the needs of women who couldn't previously wear the veil because they couldn't find clothes they like. Look at this dress, for instance. You can wear this very easily with a scarf and a pair of jeans. Even if many young people don't seem concerned or worried about this trend of Islamization, some people are trying to sound the alarm. What we're dealing with here is an archetypal political operation led by Salafists who are trying to impose political Islam. I believe the situation is catastrophic, but the worst is that it seems not many are aware of the extent of this phenomenon. Egypt's being struck by this new calamity which is casting dark shadows on the future of our people. At this rate, Egypt will soon be a religious state. Egypt becoming a religious state is a very plausible scenario. All the more that poverty and high unemployment rates which plague Egypt seem to be the ideal hotbed for the propagation of fundamentalist ideas.